I'm going to share a couple of tips for those of you who are hosting guests on your Zoom meeting. Let's say you have a few people or a lot of people in the Zoom meeting and you need to make sure that your guest uh, is has a you know good experience or the recording uh, at least, at the very least, that the recording is going to turn out well and that your guest has a good experience. So a couple of things I want to recommend. Um, one is that if it's just, if it's just you and the guest, okay, I would recommend you click on security and then click on lock meeting. Okay. It says you locked meeting. No one else can join. Now that's only if you and the guest are both there. If it's a meeting where you are expecting others to join, then, uh, don't lock the meeting, but you may want to enable the waiting room. It's up to you. Um, so you can let people in one by one if you want to. Uh, I've also, I'm also assuming you have turned off the chimes, the entry and exit chimes. That will be in a separate video that I'll show you. Uh, because that's really helpful not to, the guests won't hear like bing, bing when people come in. Uh, no entry, exit chimes. Turn that sounds, turn those sounds off. I'm also, also assuming that you have turned off the recording has started. Uh, verbal announcement, which is also in a separate video. I'll link that to, to it below. Okay, and the thing is very important also is that please mute all um, at, towards the start of your meeting. So I'm going to click on mute all here and it says mute all current and new participants. And do you want to allow participants to unmute themselves? Now, if it's, uh, especially if it's a larger and larger audience, you want to uncheck this. If, especially if you don't want people to interrupt you by unmuting or some people, when they come into a meeting, they don't realize it's already muted. So they just by habit click on the mute button, not realizing they're actually unmuting themselves. So for a larger meeting, or if you're, if you don't trust your participants to, to be savvy about this stuff, you should not allow participants to unmute themselves and then click on mute all. Now, that means your guest speaker cannot unmute themselves, and so you have to unmute them manually. So I'm just going to give you an example. I'm just going to uh, click on Ask to Unmute next to Leia here. Ask to Unmute. So I've clicked on it, and now, Leia, you're unmuted, right? Okay, Leia, you're, you'll be my guest speaker for this for this meeting. Now, um, so here's the important... Oh, another important thing that I didn't show you all is that I first spotlighted myself for everybody. So if I click on Remove Spotlight, what happens is Mira, you're, you're actually be, being recorded right now. Hi. Um, it just kind of randomly puts the last person who spoke. Mira, you were the last person who, who spoke in our meeting. So it's spotlighting you if I remove the spotlight. Um, so to, it's important before we start the recording, I need to spotlight myself. I'm the main speaker. So on the right hand side, I had to click on more next to my name or you can click on. Yeah, just this is the easiest way. Click on more next to your name and click on spotlight for everyone. Spotlight for everyone. By the way, the recording might cut that, cut those words off, but it says under pin spotlight for everyone. Okay. Now I'm spotlighted. The other thing is that I want to make sure I'm in speaker view, not gallery view. Gallery view records everybody in the meeting and some people don't want to be recorded. So it's important to be in speaker view. And now, uh, even though, as you can see on the recording, you can see Evelyn and Mira and Leia and Gregory. And if I scroll to the right, you can also see Eric. The recording doesn't show them. The recording only shows the spotlight. Okay. Now, once I, I have clicked on ask to unmute, right? On next to my speaker, Leia. And Leia, go ahead and unmute again. Now, now I can also add her to the spotlight so that we're side by side. So I can click on Leia's picture or I can also click on more on the right hand side and click on add spotlight. That's what it says. Add spotlight there. All right, so Leah, you and I are now side by side in the recording and we're both unmuted. And um, actually at this point, it's probably a good idea to start the recording. And starting the recording, uh, you may have to find it down here, click on more and then click on record. And uh, anyway, I won't do that right now, but that's how we start the recording. So I think I've covered all the main things. Um, you know, if I am, uh, wanting to, oh, well, I'll show you one more. If I'm taking, if I want Leia to, sometimes when I'm doing an interview with somebody, okay, this is how I do it. When, uh, when I'm, when I'm talking, uh, if I'm, if, if, well, basically I can control how the video looks. If I want us to be side by side, this is how it is. But if I want to be, um, the only one, then I should remove Leia as the spotlight by clicking on her and clicking remove spotlight. And I'm, I'm, 
basically whatever shows in the main screen is what the recording is. And then, like I said, I can add Leia to the spotlight. And now, now we're side by side. Now let's say that Leia is, you know, kind of, uh, doing her part and I don't want to, if I'm just listening for like the next three, five, ten minutes, I don't have to be side by side. So if you notice my interviews, I'm very savvy about like when we're side by side and when I'm featuring just my speaker. So how do I feature my speaker? I take myself off the spotlight. So I click on myself and I click on remove spotlight and now it's just Leia. You see? And so, so, so Leia, when she's speaking, she's speaking, she's speaking. And, um, when she's done and I'm ready to chime in, I will click on myself again. I will click on add spotlight so that I can say, Oh, Leia, you know, I, that's a really good point and blah, 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 like that. So I hope this is helpful for learning how to, you know, host meetings and guest speakers well. Um, I guess the, uh, the final thing. Uh, if there's any, if there's any other tips, I'll, I'll add it below. But those are, those are my key tips that I think a lot of people don't know how to do. So, um, yeah. So I hope this helps.